It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. You know it's your birthday. Show the world that it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. You know it's your birthday. Show the world that it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. Oh, yeah. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. You know it's your birthday. Show the world that it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back doing another birthday look for tour season. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah, so today we'll be using the Akira Beauty palette, and this is the color story for this beautiful palette. So yes, we are doing another celebration makeup tutorial for you guys. So let's go ahead and zoom in and get into this look. All right, so before I start with this palette, I am going to start off with my Bravo highlight. Y'all know that I have to look at that hidden pan. I do have two of them on rotation though, so I'm just going to go ahead and set underneath my eyebrows. Alright, so the first shade I want to go ahead and let's go ahead and start off with this purple shade. Pretty much just gonna take this shade and apply it all in the crease. But I kind of want it to be more focused towards the outer, a little bit more deep and heavy. And then as I get towards the inner, I'm gonna make it fade away. So I am now going to, I think I have to mix these two shades to create illusion that it's a lighter purple. Because if I use this one by itself, I'll be here for days trying to blend the shade out. So I'm just gonna take that and slowly take my time to blend out the shade. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of Juvia base back onto the lid. Alright, and now I'm gonna go in with that light purple by itself. And yes, I'm just gonna put the shade all over the eyelid. Alright, I'm going back in with that deep purple. I'm just going to make sure that, that the two purples pretty much blend together. So I'm just taking back and forth motions towards the outer. And I'm going to do the same thing in the inner part. And I'm going to switch it up and use a more of a blending brush for the inner. A very simple look, but yet still girly and flirty. So I'm just gonna do a nice wing. And doing a nice wing to your eyes will definitely give your eyes shape a different like illusion that it's a cat eye. I might even finish, but see how it definitely like just lifted my eye. Ain't that crazy what an eyeliner would do? Like it's not legit like really lifting your eye, but it gives the illusion that your eye has been lifted. So this is why I always wing my eyeliners. <laughs> Regardless if you can see my eyeliner or not, depending on what kind of look I wear, I always do this. Alright, so you can definitely leave this look the way it is, but it's a birthday celebration, so I want to add some sparkles onto the actual lid. 
So I am going to go in with this beautiful glitter. Look at that, it's so pretty. I'm going to take that color and pop it right on top of this light little lavender shade. I think that's enough sparkles. I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but here it is. I don't want to go all the way up because I realized when I put glitter like up in my crease area, um, it definitely like it flickers even upper and upper. So I'm just going to leave it on the remaining part of the lid. And that's another reason why I went in with the liner first before um, putting on my glitter because if I put my glitter on first and then line it after, it, it won't be cute <laughs> at all. So let me quickly do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. I'm taking Molly right now and I'm putting it in my waterline. All right, I think it's smart to go in with that deep shade and pop it underneath my waterline. And then for my inner tear duct, I'm gonna go ahead and pop a little bit more of blue. I think I'm gonna go in with this pretty like champagne. What's well, not champagne? It's a white. I'm gonna go in with this white color. Hopefully I don't throw that whole look off. I think for sure I definitely want to keep my lips on a neutral way. I'm going to be using this new little lip gloss that I got from Juvia. This one's in the shade Butterscotch. Alright, line up my lips with um, NYX Pencil. Oh, that's super cute. I like this a lot. It would be easy for you to touch up and everything like that. So that is cute. Okay. So for my blush, I'm going to go in with this pretty orange shade. And then my highlighter, I'm going in with the Ace palette. And we're going to go in with... The shade and being. Okay, so this is what the face is giving. I love the look, you guys. I haven't even put on my lashes yet, so let me go pop those on really quick so I can fall more in love with this look. So I'll be right back. All right, so this is the final look for the lashes today. I popped on the Juvia um, Cleopatra lashes. Is the ones I have on. These are definitely becoming one of my faves. I love how they just, just up the look of every eye look that I put on with these lashes. Like it just gives it that extra like shh. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This completes the look. I hope you guys like and enjoy. And of course, for my Taurus Bays, happy birthday to you again. I hope this is a celebration of a look for you. So don't forget to thumbs up this video. Leave your feedback down at the bottom. And of course, I'll be back tomorrow with another makeup tutorial. I think. Wait. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> you guys all have a beautiful day. Stay blessed. Stay amazing. Until then, bye.